I know a lot of the people online say that it is easy, but getting rich with Amazon is not actually that easy. So I'm going to talk about my journey in this video today, guys. If you don't know who I am, I've been selling for around about four and a half years now. I've done over 1.2, 1.3 can't remember exactly what it is. I could check on my UK and USA sales combined for my Amazon seller accounts. And yeah, I'm trying to get rich with it, basically. So look, I think, especially in the world of TikTok, it sort of glamorized the sort of Amazon FBA world, you know. But what is Amazon FBA at the end of the day? It's just Amazon selling, you know. Amazon FBA is just a fulfillment process within it. But, you know, it's Amazon selling, right, at the end of the day. And look, at the end of the day, we're all trying to get rich from it, right? If you start it out, you know, you're not just probably trying to make a couple of hundred quid. You want to make a good amount of money from it. And I believe... <coughs> at the bottom of my heart that it is really really possible but my journey has been nothing but hard work with this amazon business um and that's not to deter anyone but it's to just be completely transparent and brutally honest and tell you the truth about this right you're gonna face you're gonna face when you try and build an amazon business months and months and months of hard work years and years and years of just trudging along when it feels like you're not making much progress but you are pushing the needle one percent every single day and that's all you can do right just if you were building a daycare center just if you were building a call center just if you were building a software company all you're going to be doing is launching products every single week or every single month i would say every week would be a good idea um, if you can facilitate it but launching products failing with products succeeding with products or if you're doing wholesale you're going to be opening accounts closing accounts like some products are going to work some products are not going to work you're going to get price tank you're not competitors are going to come in on your private label stuff and some are going to be better than yours some are going to be worse and it might slowly knock you out the organic ranks and then you start getting less and less sales so you have to launch more products and like any business it's this never-ending journey of just trying to get to success but if you notice that every year you're getting better and you know you're more competent on the platform and you're growing year in year on year out then that's all you can really look for you know because there's no such thing as like an overnight success unless you're maybe into crypto and you're gonna you know bet a lot on there but generally overnight successes don't happen but they just look like it was overnight because someone stuck to something for a long time and just kept compounding kept compounding kept pushing the needle one percent every single day and it's exactly the same in an amazon business it's not always fun <clears throat> it's not always fun building an amazon business uh, and there's a lot of the times where i think is it worth it you know, because at the end of the day, you're in someone else's playground. You're in someone else's sandpit, right? Amazon owns that sandpit. And like, you can get IP violations, you can get your account suspended, you can get a godly amounts of competition, you can get Amazon compete with you yourself. There's so many things that can happen when Amazon changes their ways of doing business, for example, as well. There's so many things that can happen, but at the same time, it's good. And the reason it's good is because the opportunities that come the sellers, the, the, the buyers that come onto Amazon are plentiful. There's many people on Amazon. There's many people buying on Amazon and that's growing year on and year out. So even if you're using it just to build your brand's reputation to then siphon them into your own website within terms of service, obviously, then that's fine, you know. But the opportunity is plentiful. It's a great business to do. You can run it from anywhere in the world, but I'll be lying to you if I said it was easy. It's not easy. <laughs> However, my business is growing year on, year out, month after month, because we're putting in a lot of blood, sweat and tears into building the business. Yeah, <laughs> I launch multiple products, multiple products every single month in my UK and my USA store. We buy multiple thousands of pounds uh, a month. I don't know, 20, 30,000 pounds a month worth of products <laughs> to sell on the platform. And we just keep pushing and we keep building. And that's all you can do. I think sometimes people overcomplicate it. You know, they overcomplicate it thinking that they've got to be in a certain place or they're going to be selling an X amount of items or they should have made more progress on year five, six, seven or eight in their business. The truth is all businesses feel like this. They, they feel like you have to take a step back to make a step forward and it's just a slog a lot of the times and it feels like, you know, you've got a lot of highs but sometimes even more lows, you know, and that's the, that's the reality of any business, not just an Amazon business. It's not easy. It's really not easy. It's like constant challenges, 
but it can be really rewarding and it, and it and it can make you a lot of money and i do believe it will make me rich you know it's it's doing well for me already and it's going to keep doing me keep doing me more and i'm going to keep growing it um but yeah it's not easy and i just don't want you to think that it's easy right the way that you can sort of start to protect yourself <clears throat> if you want is like what I'm doing now, start a website as well, try and get some sales on the website as well. Um, you could even go into TikTok store and start creating your own TikTok store and building that. But you could also do things like open up, you know, stores in different countries, Germany, you know, all over Europe, USA, you know, you can sell in these sorts of places as well. And you can start to layer this protection around you so that you're not just relying on Amazon. And hey, as I say, I think it's a great opportunity and I'm going to continue to pursue it. But just... Yeah, I just oh, you should have protection. You should keep building protection around you. You should keep layering on the effort, the skills that you've got, and keep building, laying it on. I just kind of don't want you to think it's going to be easy, but I want you to reward yourself when you're putting in the effort. I want you to reward yourself when you're putting in that hard work because it can be really hard and it can feel like you're not making any progress. But if you keep persisting and keep going into it, one day you're going to look back and you're going to be like, like I did the other day when I had like over £40,000 profit in one month. You're going to look back and you'll go, when the hell did that happen? Because that's a massive milestone, you know? And it's really hard when you're doing it day in and day out to actually realize the progress you're making. But if you always look back a year ago and you say, oh yeah, we've got much more consistent sales or oh yeah, I know a lot more or we're selling a lot more consistently or I know a lot more, we've made a lot more money than we did a year ago, then you're making good progress and you've got to hold on to that because that's really, really important, you know. It's absolutely not easy. But you've got to keep pushing the needle day in and day out and keep pushing that progress, guys. It's 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 it's, it's a huge opportunity in this Amazon selling world. You've got to keep pushing the needle day in and day out. Stay focused, stay determined, keep pushing it, and you got it. I'll see you soon.